Third-party libraries can be some serious time savers. They allow us to do awesome things in our app without having to write any of the functionality ourselves. And that's a pretty big convenience. What's not convenient, though, is the code bloat that they can come with. I'm David East, and you can easily get everything you need from a library without all the code bloat. But let's take a step back. If you're building a performant, usable mobile app with a small team and likely a small budget, chances are that you're using a lot of third-party Android libraries to help you with the heavy lifting. And this is totally fine. In fact, it's a good idea. Many of these libraries are heavily tested and have proven to handle the stress of production. The problem is, though, is you may have to import the entire library when you're just looking to use a subset. The result of this is called code bloat. These extra code paths turn into overhead that gets shipped with your APK. And code bloat is no joke. At the simplest level, it'll increase the size of your compiled code. This inflates the APK the user has to download. Even more worrisome is the dreaded 65k method limit. The Android runtime assigns a numeric identifier to each method. This identifier is 16 bits wide. So if you have more than 2 to the 16 methods in your app, it's not going to compile. The only way around this is the new multi-deck solution. And trust me, you do not want to do that. It's pretty much as much fun as going to the dentist. Fortunately, there's a tool in the Android tool chain that's great for hunting down unused code and stripping it from your build. ProGuard is a tool that shrinks, optimizes, and obfuscates your code by removing the unused parts. It also renames classes, fields, and methods with semantically obscure names to make it harder to reverse engineer your code. But that's for another video. And ProGuard is a seriously sweet tool. Take a look at the Google I.O. 2015 app. It's a great app with a lot of functionality that uses a lot of shared libraries. When doing a release build without ProGuard's code shrinking, you end up with about 8.4 megabytes of code. With ProGuard on, just 4.1. And this is especially awesome because of how easy it is to set up this code shrinking. To turn on ProGuard's code shrinking, simply set Minify Enabled to True in your Gradle settings. Then when you build your app, it'll remove all the unused code for you. ProGuard is not perfect though. While ProGuard is great at identifying most use cases, it's not so great sorting out other situations, like code that uses reflection. This may end up giving you some false positives where some code is removed and some is not which means you'll have to adjust ProGuard settings based upon what libraries you're including. Some of them may require special rules to ensure things all work right. So do future you a favor and take a look at the documentation. In fact, head over to developer.android.com and read the official ProGuard docs. Seriously, just go read all of it. I think it makes for great bedtime reading. And when you're done reading through all the docs or taking your nap, come back and watch the rest of the Android Performance Patterns videos. And don't forget to join our Google Plus community to share your ProGuard tips with other developers. So, sweat the small stuff, but don't freak out. And always remember, perf matters.